America in the wilderness. Well, it's not wilderness, same word. It was not wilderness. The reason why it's not really the wilderness, wilderness is a title that we give because of the stuff that goes on. The reason why it's no more wilderness is because, you know, when they brought, you know, the original, you know, ADOS over, <laughs> they had them clear all them tree stumps and all the rest of that stuff, you know. So, you know, they did a little, whole lot of work. Oh, this is a, I can prove them this up, right? Extra sweet. <laughs> Extra sweet tea, pure leaf, real brewed tea, never from powder. It's called sweet tea, sweet tea, southern thing, you know? Ah, wow, sweet tea is good, okay, I gotta admit, you know, I'm really not into the sweet, I, I, I can't say I'm not into it because I'm, hey, man, what's going on here? That's not my normal radio thing, man. hey. Hmm. I said, look, uh, also I knew, you know, we were in South because this is actually, really is Trump land. I'm serious, you know. At least people, well, it's something that deranged. But let's talk about Trump for just a second. Not just a second. I remember, you know where I got that flag? I got that flag. It was just on the street, just laying on the street. They got so many flags, flags all over the place. We were in America. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Well, just so you don't be delayed. Oh, well, you. Ah, I'll get into that stuff. Some other time, I get a bigger flag, wrap myself in the flag, and then you'll try to wonder what's going on. But remember when I first started my series, I was in South Africa, had a South African flag, and that. then I would do my series, and then uh, basically the Honduran flag in the back, but that was for something else. Don't worry about that part. And, hey, I'm wearing my, um, what I call my Agoon cap, Revolution Act. What is this? What? No more radio. You don't be messing with no more radio. What's the matter with you guys? Anyway, so um, you end up talking to a lot of people, you know, and you know, I'm like, let's start off. Forget, forget the Trump people. Yeah, forget them. But Trump, I don't think people were prepared for this. First of all, the, the whole 30, how many years he was in front of people, and what was the saying? You're fired, you're fired. So he used that. But when he was running for elections, what did he do? He used the thing as a game show. Each each debate, and they had a lot of them. You know, he knock off somebody else, and these idiots kept on trying to respond to him. Became the focus. They kept on responding to him. Oh, good TV, you know. And remember, it was more TV back, you know, whatever. Even 2016, more TV really than um than 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 media than that was. I mean, than the social kind of media. He said, yeah, there was a lot. Now this is kind of different because out of that reaction to Trump. All the social media you know, people trying to, you know, justify whatever they're trying to do, right? But here's the thing: the people keep on responding to Trump. Don't you get it yet? Leave the boy alone. You know what he's doing. If you know what he's doing, why are you messing with him? What? In other words, he's doing what he's supposed to do, taking you off what you're supposed to be doing. There's enough people stifling him. So look, especially if ADOs, lead, we got other agendas to do. Leave Trump alone. Let them people deal with him because he's affecting them more than anybody else, okay? Then leave him alone. But here's the thing I do about Trump. Way when this thing was first started, I mean, I know he's going to win, of course, but when he got come up close, I said, hmm, this is interesting. But here's the thing. You know that uh, Shasha Barn, whoever, Cohen, whatever the guy is, you know, the, anyway, he did, he did that Ali G, again, you know, the, imitating black black culture. That, I'm not, I'm not, it's all right. He got his in. But then he was interviewing all kinds of people, um, with the, 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 all, all kinds of people. And, 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 and um, Donald Trump was one of the people that he interviewed. And I saw they had a whole thing about how many people he interviewed. You know, all those politicians, they were sitting down reacting to him, whatever it is, they were trying to go along being politician. When you notice, when he got to Trump, right? Got in, Trump came in. He said, he said whatever he said. And basically, Trump said, well, da, da, da. it's like almost like I'm going to exaggerate because, you know, I'm ADOSB. I, I exaggerate. I shouldn't exaggerate. I should get over that. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, let's be say like maybe a minute and a half at the most. Trump said, not interested, gone. Didn't, didn't that register to you? That must have, it registered to me. I said, whoa. Did he read this guy quickly? 
said what he wasn't saying that when he was whether he was jiving him or whatever he was doing to him. He just read it said quickly, doesn't have to do anything to what I'm doing, he's out of there. Whereas the other people, you know, trying to engage and trying to be nice and da 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 da. So I knew right there, this Trump is you gotta deal with this, right? And remember, he's told by the best both his my father and his grandfather was treacherous. And all this stuff about, you know, he knew what he was doing. And then he just knew what he was doing. I can't, you follow the truck, because I'm not going to spend a lot of whole time on Trump. But here's the thing, another thing that I noticed. Francis Crest was, I think it was Francis Crest Wilson, somebody, maybe it wasn't Francis Crest Wilson, I think, I think it was Dr. Francis Crest Wilson. When I was, when I was hanging out with the uh, First World Alliance, he, he said something, if you want to uh, uh, create a king, they have to have their own room, and you have to treat them like a king. So when they grow up, they're a king. You, you, you got that, right? That's their legacy, a king. Now it's interesting because, like in South Africa, was what they did during apartheid. They, they said some, somebody was groomed as a king, right? What they do is they take that king out of there, throw him in jail or whatever have you. Then the, the clan, you know, the, the, the tribe, whatever have you, they had to appoint somebody else in his place. Now, these guys were appointed, but so then they may say, say the second son was, you know, say the second, second, second child was a daughter, the third child was a, was a son, but he was like, it's pretty smart, you know. Say the fourth child was a son also, but this guy's an idiot. So they put him in charge. This guy, because he doesn't know anything, he wasn't trained to be that. What happens, he has takes the bidding of the people who put him in place. Mm -hmm. You get that? I'm not going too far now. You, you understand what I'm saying. But here's the thing. Here's what struck me. Baron Cohen. Baron Trump, I'm sorry. But that's his name, Baron Trump, right? He lives, he's got a whole floor, his own room, the whole floor. He's playing golf, right? He's wearing suits of his own choice, they say. He's imitating his father. But he's isolated. He, I mean, he's growing up to be what they want him to be. You got that? Growing up what they want him to be. Very, very this is amazing. So so you can get rid, rid of one Trump. He's not interested in that. But what did he do first? He surrounded himself with military. But also, remember, this guy, Baron Trump, he's going to be like, whoa. He's going to be. They, they're ready in him. Right? They readying him. What are we readying our people to what are we readying? They got it in they got it all all, all, all sewed up. Okay, but I can't say say long because uh I gotta listen to um to uh, a liquid sound lounge which is now on uh this thing uh this what is it on? It's on oh live at hear this dot a t live at hear this live L I V E you know, or whatever that thing is, the, the explanation for it, at H-E-A-R-T-H-I-S uh, dot A-T. So that, that, that's what I got to listen to because, you know, next week I'll be in New York and I'll be on that program because, you know, Jeannie is one of the people. One of, it's one of my radio children, let's put it that way. You know, so I got to do that. So that's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to the bed, letting you know from Trump country what I only suspect. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.